What's up, guys? If you're like me, there's probably a few guns out there that you just absolutely need. And for me, this is definitely one of them. It's a Robinson Arms XCRL. This particular one is in 556223. Got it topped off with the EOTech Cloud Defensive Light. Let me go ahead and uh, pop that mag out of there. The Surefeed mag looks really good in there. It's got some gold dot. Now, I don't know if many people know about the XCR. It was made to compete in the SCAR trials for SOCOM. And basically due to well, politics, it was knocked out of the running for the SCAR program before the government even took delivery. And that's why you may say to yourself, huh, looks like a SCAR. Well... It's because they were both designed to go into the same military trials. But enough of that. Let's get into the differences between it and the SCAR. Besides the price difference, this one being a kind of a basic XCR and 5.56, you know, with moderate features, in the two grand region. Scars, as you know, are four grand. And one of the best things about the XCR is that you can go on to Robinson Arms' website. I suggest you check it out. And you can completely pick what you want, whether you want an XCRL or an XCRM. L being light calibers, M being medium calibers. And... There's just so many options you can choose from. Uh, first, you can pick whether you want basically a rifle with a standard handguard or a competition handguard that goes out and covers the gas block and more of the barrel. Color, you can choose black, gray, not gray, sorry, FDE or green. And for a fee, you can choose multiple Cerakote options, I believe. But those are the three you get to pick from for free. Huh. Well, not really for free, but... Um, and then you can also pick the caliber. I believe for the XCR Ales, you can get 556223, 762 by 39, 6.8 SPC, 300 blackout, and there might be some I'm missing. The XCRM, you can pick 308, 65 Creedmoor, uh, 260, 243... And, oh yes, you can get 224 Valkyrie for the XCRL. And you can pick whether you want just a standard rifle, competition, handguard, or you can come down and get multiple different smaller sizes of pistol. And you can also choose the barrel profile and length. You can get a 16 and some up to an 18 inch barrel. Um, and shorter for pistols. Um, you can also pick the profile. This is a heavy barrel. You can tell it's really thick for a 5.56223, or you can get a light barrel. You can choose the muzzle device. You can get a, I believe it's a either a flash hider or a one or two port comp. Might be a two or three port comp. I don't know. Flash hider's perfectly fine by me. It's basically somewhat of a placeholder for now. Then coming down, you can choose your gas block. They have two or three different gas blocks, and if you look into the website, they say their gas block 2 is more of a, what some people would describe as a short stroke piston, and the 3 is a long stroke piston. This is a gas block three right here. Let me go ahead and pick it up. And it has the most adjustments, as you can see. It goes zero off all the way up to seven, which would be the highest gas setting. And if you 
Don't know why you might need that is and adjustable gas is good if you're going to run a suppressor. It relieves the, you know, the excessive back pressure. You know, you're not wearing out, you know, depending on the ammo you're running, you're not running the gun too hard. And so hopefully today the plan is if we get to go shoot it, I'm going to kind of fiddle with the gas settings and kind of figure out where it needs to be for the ammo types that I'm running. And let's see, what else is there? Like I said, this is a long stroke. Uh, when I first got it, I, well, first of all, it I ordered it last March, and now it's this March. It took a year, but COVID being COVID, it took a long time. It's well worth the wait, well worth the money. Unlike the scar, you like all I said before, you can with the scar you're basically stuck with like the three options, the seventeen, the sixteen, and the twenties, being the designated marksman type ones. You also get to pick your stock. They have two stocks and a brace. Um probably my only thing that I dislike about it would be the A two style grip, but I mean, they're $2. It's easily replaced with whatever you choose. Another cool thing about the XCR is the bolt, bolt release and bolt stop. By pushing up on these ambidextrous levers right here, you can either lock the bolt back, or when, you, when it locks back on an empty mag, you can just insert a new mag, push down right here, drop the bolt. Um, Chris over at Small Arms Solutions has just great videos on the XCR platforms and just a wealth of information about them, way more than I could ever begin to remember. And if you can't tell I'm a little biased. Um, I think the scar is overpriced garbage, and uh, I think if it would have had a chance, the uh, XCR would have definitely won the scar program. Not that the actual FN scar won, because the military doesn't actually use it. Um, and just now, FN's coming out with upgraded scars that have features that the XCRs have had since the beginning. And it's a truly modular gun from all the options I aforementioned that you can pick. You can't do that with this car. And another great thing that I was really into being, because I wanted a good do-all 5.56 rifle, is you get to pick your barrel twist rate. And for the ammo that I would be running, you know, I'd be better served with a 1 and 8, 1 and 9 over the traditional AR-15 mil spec 1 and 7 twist. So I ordered the 1 and 9 twist. And what else, man? There's just so much great stuff about this gun. Comes with iron sights. IMI defense iron sights. Comes in a really nice bag. Comes with a Duramag. Uh, uh, there's no aftermarket triggers, but it absolutely has a amazing trigger. Com completely ambi, mag release on both sides, bolt controls right here, both sides. Um, 45 degree safety. When I first got it, I got it home. I brake cleanered all that factory grease out of it and got it cleaned up real good always do that with a brand new gun or you got to clean that factory grease out of it because a lot of these gun companies they just put oil on it to because they don't know how long a gun may be sitting on a shelf especially with handguns you can really really mess up a handgun if you don't clean that oil out before you shoot it and like I said, today's the plan is hopefully weather permitting. If we can go shoot, I'm going to fiddle with the gas system, figure out where it needs to be, 
And that's another thing. Before you get into a gun with an adjustable gas system of this nature, you really got to look into what you're doing and figure it out because you can really, really do some unneeded wear on the gun, you know. So that's something you got to very much look into. And then after that, after we figure out the gas, we're going to do a quick little zero. I like a 36-yard zero on 5.56. Let me go ahead and pick it up, put it over here with the, the IFAC. And we've got some ammo over here. I, just because it does have that heavy barrel, I've got a, a somewhat assortment of different you know, 5.56-223 ammo I'd like to try and uh, just see what kind of groups we can get out of it. Like I've got some 75 grain Federal and some 62 grain Hornady Black. I got some Lake City M855, some random steel case ammo and Federal Power Shock, stuff like that. And some just plain SIG 223. And and like some of you might have deduced that I waited a year on this gun and I think it's worth it I've wanted one of these for years but you know a scar is out of my price range and this is damn close. So it took it took years for me to be able to be in a place to get this gun. So I don't mind waiting to get it, especially for a gun that I got to pick literally every option on it. And like I said, Chris at Small Arms Solutions has uh, just a wealth of information about the, these guns. The the people that I've dealt with, you know, calling Robinson Arms. They've been just amazing. I actually, when I called to uh, finish pay the payment for this gun, I got off work, and I wasn't thinking about the time change because they're in Utah. I'm in North Carolina. So I called them at 10 o'clock in the morning to go ahead and pay for this beautiful motherfucker. And the phone just rang and rang and rang. And then eventually somebody picked up, and that's when I felt really bad, was because it was 10 o'clock here, but it wasn't even 8 o'clock there. So, felt really bad for that. You know, there was, as soon as they got there, they had some buffoon blowing their phones up. But yeah, the A2 grip, hopefully that'll be replaced today. I like the M-O-E-K, and um, yeah, I don't have many complaints about the gun. I mean, the stock is just uh, maybe an inch too short. The stock, of course, folds and is adjustable for length of pull. I've got the my sling wrapped around there. I thought, in all the pictures I looked at before I got one, I thought that hole was a QD. It's not. I think there is a QD under here, but I like running my stocks back here. Or not my stocks, my slings. Um, had to get a QD point for up here. No big deal. Um, I like the handguard. It's just a teeny bit short, but that's I could have got a longer handguard on it. But I wanted to be able to get to the gas block easily. So I got the shorter hand. Uh, handguard and um, when I change the, the A2 grip to the mag pull I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put on a uh, kind of a hand stop so I don't reach out and accidentally grab the barrel and the gas block while I'm firing. Another interesting thing uh, when I finally got it in, in hand and went and picked it up from the store like I noticed I was like, man, it's a, it's actually a, smaller in person. You know, it looked, it looked huge, like kind of like the way you look at a scar, like in pictures or on TV, and like it looks like a thick rifle. It, they're not, so it's kind of got that going on, and it, it feels real good. It's definitely 
a little bit lighter than some long stroke guns that I've played with, like my Galil and stuff. Just feels real good. I mean, I'll, I've only been able to play with it and dry fire it for the last uh, five days, six days maybe. So that's why I said hopefully today, weather permitting, we'll go shoot. It's actually a slight chance of snow today. And, yeah, just get that gas system dialed in, hopefully. Zero the EOTech. And then hopefully later on I plan to get something else besides the EOTech so I can put the EOTech back on the Galil. Um, the owl, the owl's staying there because this light was always meant to go on here. It's been on the Galil for a while, but this light's meant for this gun. Now, the EOTech was meant for this gun because... I got all this stuff while I was waiting on my my gun to be made. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna go for, but yeah, I like the EOTech on on the Galil. Actually, it feels real good in hand. I mean, like most long stroke guns, it is a little front heavy, but man up. It just it. It's an awesome gun. Disassembles real good since I don't have two free hands. I won't disassemble it for you, but all you got to do is pull back here, and that releases the upper from the lower, and then you can punch out this pin, kind of like an AR-15, and then you've separated the upper from the lower. Um, and then this is attached to your recoil spring. You pull that out, and then the piston and the bolt will come out. And then if you want to take the barrel off, this is one really cool thing about it. You just, that one hex head right there, unscrew that, and that's how you can change barrels, swap calibers. Robinson Arms has tons of, like I said, all those previous mentioned calibers that you can get this in, you can order a barrel and in that caliber. So I could switch this to 762 by 39, 300 blackout. I want a 6.8 SPC barrel, or I could just order a different 223 barrel, maybe a light profile or a one and eight, you know. There's just so many options. It's a, it's a really, truly modular gun. And that's one of the things that really drew, drew me to it was just, you've, you know, I mean, you're not just stuck with what you get. You know, you get to, you can pick this. Now, before COVID and everything, and they had a year wait on their guns, I do believe Brown Ales was getting these in stock and selling them. But if you don't want to do that, I don't think they're still doing that anymore. But they were, they definitely were. You can always go to robinsonarms.com, and I highly re recommend you do. And, you know, get one of these specced out however you want. I, the whole time I was waiting on this thing, I would constantly go to their website and, you know, make different versions of what I want and make different, you know, because I do, I do, I plan on getting another one. I think I want, I think I want a, a XCRM 308 pistol. I think that's what I want. I think that might be the next one here in a year or two. But yeah, just a really sick gun. I don't know if I'll be able to get any shooting footage of it today because we're just going to really be trying to dial it in that's my plan at least but man just a incredibly sexy gun i'm in love like i said it's one of those guns that you you know you need you know you want it more than any other gun and i recommend everyone to check it out you know or go find go find your gun that makes you feel this way or just just go shoot and definitely clean new guns when you get them all right have a good day y'all